For Prince Andrew, with each day that passes and with each fresh, sometimes lurid allegation that emerges, this is a situation that has the potential to seriously damage him and the monarchy. For a second day, the papers make painful reading for the royals. Two of the Sundays say Andrew's accuser is Virginia Roberts, something the BBC can't confirm. Buckingham Palace responded to the claims with a second robust statement. A spokesman said, It is emphatically denied that the Duke of York had any form of sexual contact or relationship with Virginia Roberts. The allegations made are false and without any foundation. Also accused and also protesting his innocence, the American lawyer Alan Dershowitz. He's preparing to take legal action against the woman and he told the BBC the prince should follow suit. My goal is to uh, bring charges against the client and require her to speak in court. She, if she believes she has been hurt by me and by Prince Andrew, she should be suing us for damages. I welcome that lawsuit. I welcome any opportunity which would put her under oath and require her to state under oath these false allegations. This man is the reason Prince Andrew's facing talk of lawsuits. It's his once close friend, the American financier Jeffrey Epstein, a registered sex offender. Andrew stayed with him and they've holidayed together. The well-connected billionaire was sentenced in 2008 to 18 months in jail after pleading guilty to an offence of soliciting a minor for prostitution. Prince Andrew continues to deny he had sex with a woman when she was underage as he battles to contain the fallout from these allegations. Peter Hunt, BBC News.